Today is February the 20th, 2022. And I just realized the first day of spring and it it's exactly one month from today on March the 20th. And it's also been probably about four years since I've done a houseplant tour video. So I am long overdue. I've acquired more plants and, uh, well, let's get started. This one here is vintage. And I say this because it's 25 years old. It belonged to my grandma at one time. It's a tropical crouton, very beautiful plant. And it loves this uh, south facing sunny window. And I have cardboard around it because there's a vent underneath the table and it blows the hot air and um, it's not good for the plants. Well, this is a beauty. I love it. I love it. It's doing so well. It's huge. I got a few little decorations in there, too. <laughs> okay, um, and this, I actually had rooting in water since, uh, like, the end of October. This is a uh, New Guinea Impatient. You can see there's some new growth, and there's that. That's all new growth. So I'm hoping that I could plant that outside in the summer, early spring, early summer. And I also have some Wandering Jew in here, rooting. And a little Christmas cactus. And um, here's an Easter one. See, there's a difference. People think that, you know, that there's just a Christmas cactus when there really isn't. There's all different types. Like, this is a true Christmas cactus. This was my grandma's. It's very rare. It's a lavender one. Now, you could see the difference on the clads. This is a white Easter. But see, it's wider. It has fuzz. And it's sort of tinted, like a pinkish color. But they're rounded and they're smooth. Where the Christmas one is more squared off, slightly oval shaped. And they're also smooth. Now you take your Thanksgiving cactus. Now these are mislabeled for uh, Christmas cactuses. Look at the difference. See how wide these clads are and they're prickly? Compare it with the Christmas one. Entirely different. Entirely different with the Easter ones too. And this is also a red Christmas cactus which hasn't bloomed in a while. This hasn't bloomed in 20 years. That's the rare lavender one. And that one is another Christmas that I rooted three years ago in water. And I'll show you that one in the back bedroom that I have. And um, that was from my grandma's. And I rooted them in water like 15 years ago from like a 40 plus year old plant. That's my Easter cactus. It's really big. Little um, rubber succulent. A Thanksgiving, an Easter, another Thanksgiving. I'm rooting some uh, clads in water, some Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving. This one's Easter. Those three are Easter. This is one of my larger, uh, the solid white Thanksgiving cactus. I belong to some Facebook groups, and some of us, we swap um cactuses like we send cl clads in the mail some people pay me 
And this I rooted about five years ago. I mixed Christmas right here, the smooth ones with Thanksgiving, all in one pot. There's a spider plant. Now these right here, um, these I root in water. I traded with some lady online. They're gonna be peach Thanksgiving cactus. More peach ones, a red one, peach. And that's my own Easter cactus that I'm rooting from um, that one right there. And there's a Christmas one, a couple Christmas ones. This is my red one. I started these like a month ago, some a month and a half ago or two. My large aloe vera plant, Dracaena, and I don't know the name of that one in there, but that's how it was bought. And uh, my large philodendron. And that's it for the kitchen. Oh, and uh, these are two more Thanksgiving cactuses that like the sink. And I have my other ones in the window here, getting all the sun from the afternoon. This is the other part of the kitchen. Okay, here is the living room window. These are my African violets. Most of them are dormant right now. They usually bloom about three times, maybe four times a year. That one is reblooming. A real pretty um, two tone purple and white. There's another one in there. Um, this is another. African violet. This is a spider plant that decided to root, take root in this philodendron. It's amazing how that happened. I'm really amazed. And I like how it's growing. It reminds me of like a palm tree. It's so pretty how it's growing like that. And then there's another one that's going to do the same thing. That's a night blooming cirrus, I think. That is my aloe vera that I propagated about um, a week ago. More uh, Wandering Jew. There's the Purple Queen flower that's going to open. Real pretty. There's my Cyclamen from last year. Pretty little pink one. And this is my newest plant right here. A red cyclamen. Got this at Wegmans two weeks, well, three weeks ago. It's doing pretty good. I figured they're temperamental plants, so I figured since the pink one did okay, um, I had this a year, thought I'd get another one. And uh, that's it for the kitchen, for the living room window. And here is the back bedroom with uh, my classic true Christmas cactus. Look, it has a beautiful flower on it. Look at that. And um, believe it or not, next to it is a Thanksgiving one. And this also has flowers. Well, it has buds. Isn't that something, though? Look at that. It's like the same color as that. But this is Thanksgiving. See? The clads, big difference. So, I am excited about that. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Three more buds on that. Okay. And this I rooted in water... Um, a few clads, maybe 16 years ago, from my late grandmother's 40-plus-year-old uh, Christmas cactus. 
It's pretty big. I've cut off a few clads because I was mailing them to people and selling a few pieces. And um, yeah, I still have more mail to go out uh, for the spring. I had to uh, quit because of the cold weather. So, and there's a spider plant right there. There's my large, or actually this is called a baby jade baby jade plant right there. Real pretty. Anyways, uh, that's it. For more videos like this, please subscribe. Don't forget to share and uh, have a great day. And I hope you've enjoyed. This video has been long overdue. <laughs>